tell you, you just come off a, a really nice win over in Eternal in Australia. Uh, tell us how the rest of your year went before that. Ah, the rest of the year. Um, it was a great year, great year. Added one to the troop, had the fourth child, so that's pretty awesome, little Clara. Uh, before that, flipping, uh, yes, that's training. There was a few, uh, a few fights that we had lined up that, um, that kind of fell through from injuries, opponents' injuries and just little things. Um, so it was a good year, good year of training and pushing, but um, yeah, just stoked to, be, to have got that one in at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and to have got it in the way that we did, so. Tell us a little bit about the fight camps that you've been involved in throughout the year. Um, personally, or like from my own fight camps? Or? With the boys. Yeah, I mean, you know, being here at City Kickboxing, it's, it's quite, um, yeah, it's hard to kind of put into words like how it, all, how it all feels because, you know, I'm here doing my camp and then I look over, there's Izzy doing his camp, there's, you know, Kai and, and Dan and all the rest, and then there's all, all the boys, um, John Bruin, all the other lads doing it, you know, and the, everyone's here together. And these are guys that I've been fought, like John, me and John fought back in the day, I think you were there, and all these other guys that, that we're training with, you know, we're from all over the place, and now we're here together, kind of, and our journeys have kind of, you know, linked up, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's a blessing to be here, eh? Um, for myself, uh, for my own my own uh, fight camps, like I had a couple this year, uh, even though they didn't eventuate into an actual fight, um, real beneficial and I learned a lot, I learned a lot through them. Um, there was one where I was fighting a guy Alex and he, he ended up having to pull out because of a knee injury but you know that was right up to the last week where he pulled out which is, I mean that, that stuff happens. Um, but just getting that kind of experience in of the full camp and with, with all the lads and pushing hard and, you know, banking that, man, like, I was still happy, you know? Like, a lot of people were, like, gutted for me, and I was obviously gutted myself. Huge told me, and within five minutes, I was at Macca's ordering a family pack and <laughs> smashing the whole thing back while I was on the phone to him. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's all good. But um, learnt a lot, and, um, yeah, just, it's been a good year. Yeah, a good year. You think that you, you learn, to, like, I can push my body harder than I ever thought I could definitely. before. Definitely, yeah, definitely. And I suppose for myself, like kind of being off for the last, or it was almost three years, um, little kind of questions got popping up in the back of your head, you know, like, oh, do I still have it? Like, am I still able to push to the same extent? Am I, you know, like all these little questions, which are, I mean, everyone has it. Um, and just to be able to like push through camps and see yourself improving through each spider and each wrestling session and, and just um, you know rubbing shoulders with all the boys uh, and slowly adding adding to the to the toolkit, you know, um, definitely kinda like, you know, gets gets your kind of gets your confidence back and gets your head back in the game. Um, yeah, especially I mean, when you're getting smashed, those spider sessions look terrible to everyone watching, but and it is terrible. But the feeling you get after it, and the you know, it's like far out, man. It's it's amazing, and uh, it's a it's a rush. So I'm like, I'll, I'll do a few more of those. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. So now that you're back in the water, so to speak, uh, what's next? Uh, I'm I'm actually I've got a match up in uh, Feb. I think Feb 11th. I think UFC's Feb 12th eh? uh, in Perth. So real stoked to be to be on that card. I was just happy to be fighting again. Um, it's been so long, like before this, before my last fight, before you know the the gap. So I was, I was kind of expecting to have to wait, a, you know, a little while. But um, you know, I, I took a week off after the fight, and then I got sick for a week. And then the first time I saw Huge after that, he he told me I was matched up and I'd missed a week of training, for for my fight camp. So um, <laughs> bit of a bit of a slap on the wrist and uh, excited at the same time, you know. So stoked. Um, but yeah, so Eternal, Eternal 73, and we're fighting a kid, uh, well not a kid, uh, a, young, a young guy called uh, uh, Seb Ortiz. So it's going to be good. He's, uh, I've watched him, he's got some good skills, good on the ground, and um, I think it'll be a good challenge for myself. Uh, but, you know, I'm just stoked as well just to be over there um, with the crew uh, for the UFC the next day and um, just to be getting amongst it, staying, keeping it rolling, you know. We didn't want to leave too long between our fights. So hit this one out and then we'll smash on to the next one, you know? Cool. It should be good. 
We'll follow you through, mate, and uh, Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, Merry Christmas, Tony. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, mate. No worries. Oh, this, you going up north? Yeah, yeah, shooting up on...